Hey everybody, what we plan on doing is putting a removable hitch on the front of it. Stick with us. <laughs> We're full of surprises. This is the receiver hitch that we're going to weld on the end of this tube. You say, why is it so dang long? I want to be able to jackknife the trailer. This is what we've come up with so far. This is just to hold it because you can't clamp both sides of a square tube. And we put this on it and we centered it because this tubing is a little bit bigger than this tube. And so we had to center everything and line it up this way. And this lines it up this way. We're going to do a vertical weld here on both sides and then push. I'll take this off and then we'll weld across the top. So I'm gonna to try to weld this. I apologize for the angle. Hello, I just hit you a plant. Probably not the smartest. Bridge brace on the front for the tongue. Got the safety chain welded on. Got the receiver hitch welded on the front. Got the spring hangers, the subframe done. Receiver hitch on the back. It's getting close. Now all we have to do is change its color and put the axle on it. But the hub is not here for the axle. This is what started this whole thing. The hub burned out. So we ordered a new hub. And so we're going to <laughs> completely build a new trailer out of it, I guess. And once we recover financially a little bit, then I'm going to put sides on it. Lay down sides, removable sides, like a garden cart.
originally this trailer had a spindle that went out, bearings went out, and it toasted the spindle. So you might have seen that in a previous video. Um, we decided to raise it up to make it a decked over to pull the hubs in and shorten the axle. And um, we just pull this thing through trails and I don't want to be snagging it on a tree. The perfect side of the trailer can go in, the trailer can go in, and we just scoot past the tree. So here's the axle. We've shortened it and got a new spindle and cut the axle. And here's the axle, already shortened, not welded yet. We welded the chairs with the saddles where the tie bolt goes in the spring, welded those on to center everything and bolt it down and lock it down so that there's no movement. Now I just have to weld the spindle on and here's that. There's the new spindle. Now this pipe has a seam because it's a welded pipe, it has a seam running down it. So what we did to compensate for that is we just cut a slight groove in the spindle so that the spindle would slide in there, and it does. And we drilled some holes in the side for a plug wheel. And what is that called, a fillet around here? I'm not a welder, so I just know it gets hot glue right there with little angry pixies sparking. So we're gonna play with some angry pixies here in a little bit and make that, glue that in there real good. And then we're gonna put the axle back on the trailer. You know, it's funny when you're building something like this, how many times do you have to take it back apart? So I apologize for the bad camera angle. But stick around and uh, we're, oh, we're getting so close. set of bearings because of course we got new bearings with the new hub and a new seal all of that for this side is golden the old side the side that didn't burn out the bearings were like grinding rocks uh -oh. so we had we had to replace those bearings and seal as well oh, that seal was gone too and I don't want to have to do this again so we're gonna go ahead and put new bearings new seals on the other side pack everything I uh, hope you enjoy the video. We'll be finishing this series up shortly. And um, if you like what you see, um, 